Anyway, so I really enjoyed this job and I want to talk about like how everything is going and what I've gathered on like the best times to work, but also just kind of give my opinion on it and that kind of thing. So if you are interested in that, then stay tuned to see all of the things and like what I think. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more from me, then hit the notification bell so I can know that you are keeping up to date with me. I am on my way to my first um, orientation or meeting for GoPuff. Right now, stuff is really difficult, obviously, for everyone. Right now, I'm making no income. So that's been really difficult and I applied to GoPuff to be a driver because I felt like it was the safest route for me because it is probably the least contact um, because they literally have a contact, a no contact option for people. Um, so when you order things like there's no contact for them, you can just sit on their porch and call them and I just felt like it was the safest option but I still need to make an income right now. Anyways, um, I just wanted to film basically before I go in here. This is like my first time meeting someone in orientation real quick. I guess he said it will take like an hour. So I will update you guys on how that goes and everything. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be driving and delivering today or how that's going to go. But yeah, again, I will just update you guys as stuff goes. But I'm late. So I'm going to go in now and we will see how this goes. <laughs> so i'm finally done with everything and the training went well it was like actually two hours because he was training another person as well so i was there from like 3 to 5 30 5 20 um and i just went to the grocery store but um basically so because of the times that we're in and the quarantine and everything um he gave me this laminated thing that is stating that i am a an essential like worker so that if I get pulled over after curfew which curfew is midnight here I don't know if it's different other places or earlier um, and we are open 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. so some of my shifts might go past midnight so you have this in your car at all times and it's laminated which is nice um, and so if you get pulled over or something you can show them this and you should have no issues and then the other thing I was given besides I signed papers when I got there and did like an onboarding um, PowerPoint thing with him and stuff like that to understand stuff and went through the app um, But these are just tips and tricks they gave you I got to go on a delivery um, Actually two because they were training another person while I was there so the first uh, Delivery we went on and both of these happened to be no contact so they're a little different than contact orders but we just took the orders and went with the manager and he drove us to the you know drop off site the delivery site and we had to like call the person on our phone on our app and stuff like that so we figured out how to use everything it's super simple it's been a really easy process so far um and he said that the average people make is like four hundred dollars a week and their best drivers which i'm sure their best drivers work a lot like seven days a week like double shifts but he said that they make about a thousand dollars the best drivers so there's definitely potential to make good money here and the where i worked before i was furloughed um i really love my job i decorate cakes so you know it's something i really really enjoy but i made about half that so i didn't make very much money at all just enough to like keep me afloat um but i definitely had another stream of income as well i was not just working one job so i am excited to be able to possibly just be able to support myself better because right now we have no income so I'm excited that this is um, a good option for me. It was super fast. I literally applied about like three or four days ago. Um, so not even a week to get me like applied background check, take this test about alcohol so you can deliver alcohol and tobacco um, orientation. And now I'm working on Saturday. The only reason I'm not working today or tomorrow is just because their shifts, oh, sorry, <laughs> just because their shifts were taken up. But otherwise I could have worked today or tomorrow, but he said that they're you know they just don't have anything open because they have a lot of drivers applying right now um so yeah i'm gonna be vlogging my first day and kind of how much i make and give you guys all the insight on that to see if it's worth it but so far he said that they are super busy in the evening still because people aren't wanting to go to the grocery store and pick things up themselves so that's good for us because like people like me i really need money i can't help it i have to work so um it's really great that this is still a lucrative business right now that will make some money so yeah i will see you guys saturday hello you guys i look crazy what is new oh, okay um 
I just wanted to film. So I was actually going to film tomorrow because tomorrow was night was supposed to be my first shift at GoPuff, but then they texted me that there's an open shift today. So earlier this afternoon, I claimed that shift and it's from 11.30 p.m. to three o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be interesting, but I actually just took a nap. I'm a little bit ago. I've been up for like an hour just doing really annoying stuff I needed to get done on my um, iPad and my computer. And now it is about, let's see. It is 9.52, can you see that? So it's almost 10 o'clock and hopefully it'll be fine. And now we'll go once in because you can hear me. Yes. Do you need any help? Yeah. You have dinos. Okay. Okay, so I'll film while I'm getting ready. But hello. So yes, I have my hair is looking whack. Um yeah, so I'm gonna just put on light makeup because the shift is really late. I don't need put on like crazy makeup or something but it is like my first day and I don't like meeting people when I look crazy so basically how it worked was they texted me that when I work updated and had a shift open so they basically told me that there was an option to um work tonight and so I took it and now I work from 11.30 to 3 a.m. And my brother is going to come with me um, because they actually let you have someone in the car with you. So that's kind of cool um, for safety reasons. And then um, I'll feel safer. And it's not that long of a shift, obviously, but that's good for my first time. And then tomorrow I have a longer, a little bit longer shift, not much longer. Um, I'm not sure what time I'd have to check. But yeah, I'm excited and I just have to go to the warehouse and say that I'm here. You have to like text and Slack and say when you arrive and then they will start giving you orders. And I'm excited. I hope that it's busy tonight and I will show you guys more when I'm getting ready to leave because I have gotten some things to prepare myself for the car and also to entertain myself because there might be some downtime where you're just sitting and we have to stay in our cars because of quarantine and social distancing. So basically I have brought things to entertain myself or to be productive. <laughs> so I'll show you guys that. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that I am bringing in the car with me to either keep me busy or like safety stuff that I'm bringing that feels essential for me. So yeah. Okay, so in my purse, I am going to be bringing a charger for my car because I took it out since the quarantine. I haven't been in my car. So I usually have this in there all the time, but I've taken it out. So I need that again. So my phone is charged. Bringing my iPad for two reasons. One, that way I have the app on there and like I can see things bigger, but also if I want to draw or do homework and there's like a dead period, I can do that. Um, and then this is kind of silly, but I knit and I've been knitting for quarantine, like some washcloths and stuff like that for some certain people. So just finishing that up, it kind of gives me something to do that's easy. Um, so I'm just bringing that stuff in the car with me and then cleanliness stuff because of what's going on right now. I have these wet ones wipes so I can wipe off my hands in between like each order and then I have hand sanitizer. Um, unfortunately, I don't have real hand sanitizer. I just have the Bath and Body Works kind to keep in my purse because that's all I had at my house. And then I have made this mask. Um, kind of crazy looking, but yeah, this is like a harder fabric and then t-shirt inside so that it's like soft and smells good on my face. Um, and then this is like t-shirt <clears throat> as well to go around my ears. So I can have that to wear if I have a contact order. So yeah, that's all I'm taking with me in my purse. And then... I also have a water bottle. Obviously, I'm a water fiend, so I'll be filling this up before I go. So I know it's really dark, um, but I just want to show you guys what I have in my car. So I have this basket that I have, and it's just like a square, and I strapped it in so that I can put the go bags or the GoPuff bags in here so that they won't move. Um, so 
that's just in my back seat that way i can drive and it's secure and then i just cleaned up my car and i am going to go get gas now sorry it's really dark <laughs> um it's also really rainy out so that kind of stinks but yeah so i might go get a jacket really quickly um but i'm just wearing the sweatshirt again but it's like super rainy out um but i'm about to just get gas pick up my brother and go to the facility i might be a little early but better than late so yeah hello you guys so last night i did not film basically anything of me delivering because one it was a little hectic and it was my first night doing it um but two it was so dark because it was my shift was from 11 30 to 3 o'clock in the morning but now i can recap what happened i'm actually about to leave to go to work now um tonight i work three to seven and then i have a half an hour break and then i work 7 30 to 11. um so but last night i don't think i'll ever do one that late again um that shift like anything past midnight which i've scheduled myself to either be done at 11 or 12 for the next week so that's good um but first when i got there i waited an hour and a half in the parking lot um i brought my brother with me for the first time like i said last night so that was good because i always had someone with me but um basically i waited over an hour in the parking lot to get my first order and then once I got my first order, it was nonstop. Like I took the order to the place. The first one was a little like confusing for the address, but I got it. And then I made it back and then they gave me another one and then I made it back and they started to give me two at a time. So I think I did nine orders last night and that doesn't seem like a lot, but it is like in the three hours that I worked, like I just was driving back and forth nonstop. And then I literally finished at like 3.01. It was my last delivery. I handed it to the guy. Um, and yeah i'm gonna go over my earnings with you guys later um i think i'm gonna encapsulate this whole weekend so that will be three days and technically four shifts because today i'm doing two shifts so like three to seven thirty is one shift or three to seven is one shift and then seven thirty to eleven is another shift so i picked up two so anyways i will show you guys like if you worked a weekend you know how much you might make um i did figure out last night that everyone does not you don't have to tip i guess i thought there was like a default of at least a dollar and so i've only received tips on about 50 percent of my orders and then the other half like people didn't leave a tip at all so you only got the three dollar base pay which kind of stinks because then like you know maybe you only made like thirty dollars in a night from the orders but um the one thing that is good is i'm already one order away from in my first night i'm already one order away from hitting a bonus so like 10 orders is and again i'll explain this better for you guys and show you on the screen but um 10 orders is the first bonus you can receive like extra forty dollars so like last night working three hours i made about seventy dollars just from that bonus as well so they don't stack but like I'll be able to reach like the hundred there's up to like a hundred and ten dollars in bonuses so I'll definitely be able to reach that in the next probably three days so that's super exciting because you have a week to reach it so every week you can get a hundred extra dollars so that's really cool but anyways and my little crate back here which I showed you guys last night worked out really well um it it's just buckled in back there and it held the bags perfectly that was the best idea i've ever had <laughs> and then i just kind of watched youtube videos and played on my phone um so yeah but i'm gonna get going and show up there and i will vlog more when i have my first order so i have had a really slow day i've had two shifts today and i have waited in my car for probably 75 percent of that so that's been kind of rough because i've just been knitting and watching a little youtube and listening to a lot of music um just waiting for orders and i think i've only had like six orders today and last night in a three hour shift i had 10 orders so in like seven hours i've had not very many basically um so that's kind of why i haven't filmed there's not much going on i've just been waiting most of the time and i only have an hour left and at this point i'm just like super done i just want to go home <laughs> so um i'm a little bummed out for the, today's turnout because it is a saturday and i thought it would be more busy but i'm assuming people are going to order right after i leave um i assume that they will be ordering more munchies around midnight 1 a.m 2 a.m etc so that's a little upsetting, but that's okay. Um, I'm just testing it out and seeing, and hopefully tomorrow when I work, I work 8.30 p.m. to 
12.30. I'm hoping that it will be a little bit better tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just have to feel out every day and figure it out. So that's what's going on right now. I'm almost done and I'll check in later. So right now I am on my way to day three of GoPuff. It's Sunday and um, also impulsively cut my hair off. So I will, will that video will be up very soon. Um, but yeah, I am on my way to day three. Today's my shift is from 8.30 to 12.30. Um, one, for safety, but two, because then I get kind of bored, I told my boyfriend to come with me today, so I'm going to pick him up, and then we are going. And so I can see the chats on Slack all day, and it seems to be pretty busy today. So I'm excited about that because I think that it will be a good night, hopefully. Um, yesterday was a little sad. For Saturday there was no orders from like until the like late at night not even the evening until like 10 there weren't very many orders I'm hoping tonight it will be busy during this time and even though I'm not working for super long I'm working about four hours I'm hoping to make about the same as I did yesterday in an eight-hour shift so we will see and I will update you guys when I'm there hello you guys so if I don't start my videos like this now I don't think it's me So, I just painted my nails in my car because I'm working and there was a lot of downtime. So I'm gonna be like, like Barbie. Uh, so first I'm just gonna go over how the whole thing works. I already talked to you guys in like a blurb of my first day like training and then um, you saw that I got to pick up a shift on that Friday evening instead of starting on Saturday and I was super eager to start and start making money so I just, we went ahead and picked it up and it was a shift from like midnight to three o'clock in the morning and then i brought my brother with me for safety which was a really good choice <laughs> um and then i just you know never kind of stopped working i've had about like two days off in like two weeks so i'm just trying to which the shifts aren't super long you don't have to make them long um i've had a couple of eight hour shifts and then I just have a hard time with those. One, I can't really eat. There's not really time to like take a break and like go get food or anything like that. So I don't really take breaks except for to like use the bathroom. <laughs> um, so sitting in your car because of quarantine and like um, social distancing, sitting in your car for eight hours is kind of a lot. Although I love being alone. So it does work for me. So when you come to work, you'll come and you open the Go Drive app, which I'll show you guys here, and you will hit start work day. And then once you do that, you'll just, not much happens in that app until they do it. It's all by the computer inside of your facility. It's nothing that you do. Um, they make it super nice and easy for you. I think this is the most simplistic type of delivery job comparatively to like Grubhub or um uber eats and all those when it's like more on you so to get your orders and i'm not really sure how all this works so i'm not even gonna try but everything is done for you they pack the order they put the bag in the bin you just go inside and get it and like wait for them to text you that you have an order so basically if you get an order they will text you on slack and say like your name and then the bin that you need to go to so inside there's like bins like little cooler things where the bags will sit in and they're numbered and if i get bin four then i need to go outside look inside bin four and pick up the one or two bags that they put in there in rare times it will give you three if it's super busy and they think you're a good enough driver have good enough time record so sometimes i'll get three but most of the time i get one or two um and then if you'll take your bag and bring it to your car you know however you like and you guys have seen that i have like this little basket in the back that is really great for carrying stuff because then if i do have two or three bags um they won't fall out or touch any of the things that are in my car so they just kind of stay in a little contained area which i like um and then you will go on your app and just refresh it and you can see that your orders will be up and it will it's really simple like i said so like it's in the order that you're supposed to go you don't have to think about it too hard you just go on there and the first order you click on it click on the address it'll open right up in your um, maps app and you can just get on your way and it will let you know if they're a newbie um if someone is a new customer and they've never ordered from us before then you try to get your order to them as fast as you can um the like latest you can do it you have like 45 minutes and for a regular order you have an hour from the time that they place the order to get it to them which doesn't which seems like a long time but it's not really when although most of our orders get to them within 30 minutes so it's really like it depends on how things are going inside the facility mostly um as a driver i do it pretty swiftly so 
it's really not that difficult and once you get to know your area as well which has it's only been two weeks for me but it's super nice like i'm getting to know the area pretty well of like where i've been or i'll see familiar places like i'll deliver to the house right next to the house i just did last week or something so it is nice to get familiar with the area let's talk about the coin so pay wise this is the fun stuff guys i'm making double what i was making at my other job in my first weekend here not week weekend because i got hired on a friday remember or thursday started on a friday so i worked friday saturday sunday um i made with commission tips and hourly subsidy i made 350 dollars girl that's 100 dollars a day and i only worked three or four hour shifts so I worked 15 hours total, I think it told me, or 16 hours total. So in 15 hours, that's like three days of five hour shifts, I made $350. That's really good for me. <laughs> I am a college student, a full-time college student. My other job I was working, I probably made $250 in two weeks of working. Two weeks! Like I got paid every other week and I would get like a 200 and I don't know why this number's coming to mind, but like 269 would happen a lot, like $269. And I would literally be like, like, how did I survive? I don't know how I fucking lived. Okay. Anyways. So the pay, how it works is you get a hundred percent of your tips, which you used to get 70%, but now they've raised it to a hundred. So that's very nice. And then you get 875 for a subsidy, like an hourly rate. Um, and then you also get $3 per order and, and there is a reward for how many orders you get. So if you get 20 orders, it's like, which I'll show you all on the thing, like right here. If you get 20 orders, it's like $40 extra. If you get 30 orders, I don't remember. It's 10 to 40. I know that. And anyways, the lowest is like $20 and then in between there and the highest you can earn in one week is 110 extra bucks just for making, you know, hustling and making at least 40 orders in your work week. So the first three days I hustled real hard and did what I could on my end to do fast orders and get them through and like get, pick up night shifts so that I could like, I don't know, have the most opportunity to take orders. And I made 30 orders, which was 80 extra dollars. So on top of whatever you, you know, you're making, you can see your earnings so easily in the Go Drive app, which is super nice because I'm like super OCD and I'm like trying to like make certain goals during each week to like to accommodate what's going on right now and not make income at all for the past month to like try to like catch up with all my bills. So like I had a goal for myself um, to pay off some things, which I was able to do and save a little bit. And then this week I wanted to make rent in a week. I have successfully made my $575 rent. So we're doing great. <laughs> so now my new goal is to work 20 or 25 hours a week, get the 40 like bags, so get the $110 reward and try to make around $400 to $500 every week, which is just crazy to me because like, so if I would have gotten paid on a normal thing, so you get paid every single Friday, which is awesome. But if you would have gotten paid on a normal like job, then it would have been every other week. So I would have made like $850 to $900 in two weeks. Like that's very good for my full-time college, but like I'm trying not to curse. Sorry, that wasn't very cute, but I'm trying not to curse. <sighs> Sorry, mom. But anyways, so I'm loving it. It's really great. I don't know if you guys have any other questions about it, but like, yes, it is possible to make a lot of money doing this. For the most part, last night, Sundays are very, um, very lucrative, if you will. They have a lot of orders throughout the entire day on Sundays, but that's like the only day that the entire day has a good span of orders um otherwise i try to work the evenings only all week and then sundays i'll work a double shift of like seven or eight hours so like pretty late in the evening is when things start to pick up and it's because people just want munchies they once the grocery stores start closing at nine or ten people are like shoot i'm hungry and i can't get anything anywhere else except for this place so that's kind of what's happening right now so Overall, a really great experience. I'm excited to continue working here. I'm excited to see how things change when this shelter-in-place um, situation is lifted in the state I am in. 
and hoping that things pick up and not decrease um i'm hoping that things pick up for the summer that people you know more kids you know 20 year olds will just want to order you know just things when they're having friends over or snacks at night and that kind of thing so i'm hoping that this stays steady if not better when it starts to get even warmer than it is now um and yeah i'm just super excited but i hope that my experience has helped you guys for the future if you guys are looking into this company or into other delivery service companies and giving them a try um i'm just super happy about the whole situation i mean this is kind of best case scenario because it's pretty low contact so i'm happy with that um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and then don't forget to hit that notification bell.